there's a huge uh, tidal stream resource around the UK which offers the opportunity to um, deliver low cost sustainable uh, energy to UK consumers. So through the use of tidal energy converters, if we can bring down the, um, the cost of energy sufficiently, then there's a huge capability out there. The tidal, tidal energy converter project is all about looking at trying to harness that energy and look at ways of bringing down the cost of energy by looking at the uh, various components that make up um, tidal arrays. So the tech contract will actually look at optimising the design of tidal energy converters in terms of between 10 megawatts and 100 megawatts and will actually look at um, the system architectures and the best way to optimise those architectures to come up with an optimum design that will then enable the industry to um, move forward in terms of technology and uh, implement um, tidal energy converter designs in the UK. The, uh, the, the company that, that's uh, been awarded the contract is uh, Atlantis Resources Corporation and they're supported by Lockheed Martin who would be the systems integrator and Black and & Veatch who are providing project management support and um, sort of a consultancy port in terms of um, tidal arrays and tidal management. Um, it's a really exciting contract not only for the ETI but also for the marine energy in general because it enables the marine energy to, um, business to sort of focus in on tidal energy converters and look at the um, various elements and components that make up those systems to try and really optimise the design and understand um, how can we drive down the cost of energy, what differences do we need to make in terms of design, deployment, uh, maintenance and performance of the systems. So we're looking at the, the sort of whole life cycle of these systems and, overall, and the overall system capability.